Hello YouTube, this is Mr. Ozenator. And this is GFX News number 8. On today's show, as always, you guessed it, it's the latest contest on in the graphics community on YouTube. And this week I have my underrated design of the week and also my review of the week. So stay tuned for all of that. Of course, as well, we just forgot my weekly challenge as well. So stay tuned for all of that. First up, before I get into my weekly challenge, big thank you goes out to Studio Red 11 who made this cool looking design for me for GFX News, all 3D. Um, I don't think I'm going to be using it because it's a bit too dark for my liking, not too keen on all the black, and um, my logo at the back is a bit too simplified. But um, let me know what you think in the comments below and definitely go check his channel out. He's called Studio Red 11. So last week's weekly challenge, the theme was scale. I was kind of looking for people to look around, play around, look around, play around with the theme of scale, obviously, um, and kind of just make things smaller, make things bigger, and get some interesting designs with it. So on the top left, you can see one by GFX Crown. These are just three I picked out, by the way. Um, top left, one by GFX Crown, really nice kind of molecules and atoms and stuff, guy in the foreground, kind of shooting at them. Um, bit monotone though, if I was him I would have added a few more colours in there, but other than that, really nice design. To the right of that we've got one by Bayonne's 1995, really cool Tetris-y space invaders in the middle of a street, kind of random but I like it. And just below that we've got one by McNeil Effects, really nice modelling of the robot and the room and everything. My only criticism on that is a bit kind of a dull camera angle just looking at it kind of from the side. Maybe go for some more compositionally um, aesthetically pleasing camera angles like using cropping and whatever maybe some close-ups of the robot whatever but that was a very nice design, none, design nonetheless so this week's theme is neon you can kind of take whatever you want from that um, however you want but basically yes yeah, kind of self-explanatory just neon colors all that stuff Post it as a video response, as you can read here. I don't know why I'm reading it out, but I might as well. Or send, send me a link, and I'll give you some feedback. And if it's good enough, you may even get featured on next week's show. And contest time. Just before I read out this rather large list, um, kind of large like last week. Um, got of a bit of a got a got of a bit of a <laughs> got a, got a bit of a gripe with you at first. Sorry about this. But um, seems lately some people have been making contests um, just to get subscribers or just to get viewers. And I don't really think this is the best way to go about it. I think you should only really be holding a contest if you've got a decent amount of subscribers and or you have a decent prize to offer. So just making a contest um, with a low number of subscribers and just offering like a background or a sub box. I don't think is helping out the community much. So if I keep getting lots of um, contests coming up, then I'm going to have to start not um, showing them all, if you get what I mean. So I'm going to have to pick just the best ones, um, like the high subscribers or the best prizes. And obviously I don't want to do that, but that's just what I'm going to have to do because I can't really go on like this having have many contests, have here 10 at least. Um, every week because then it's kind of bad for everyone the big contests probably get lost in this big list and it, People will stop watching and they'll get bored. So if you want to hold a contest I suggest you wait until you have a decent amount of subscribers. Don't do it in a way to try and get subscribers because They're not really there for that reason um, But anyway, I've been rambling on too much this week's GFS contests First that Rupee is having one, ends on the 25th of May. He's got 2.3k subscribers and prizes include $15 upload, sub box and intro. Espinosa Design is having one which ends on the 25th of May. He's got 700 subscribers at the time of me checking this, probably got a few more since then. And prizes include $100 worth of GFX and an upload. Edit So Real is having one which ends on 25th of May. He's got 1.5k subs and prizes include background. Sub box that should be sub box <laughs> and an upload abnormal 234 is having one which ends on the 26th of May. Subscribers, he's got 1.5k subscribers, and prizes include intro or background and a sub box. I modern art 71 which ends on the 27th of May. He's got 2k subs, and prizes include $15 sub box and upload. Fruit salad with two T's and two D's is having one which ends on the 29th of May. 
He's got 1k subs and prizes include sub box and upload. Uh, my bad, I just read the wrong line. I haven't. Fruit salad ends on 29th of May. He's got 250 subscribers and prizes include £10 upload and background. See, this is one of the bad things about having so many, I just get lost. Um, fresh GFX is having one which ends on the 29th of May. He's got one, he's got 1k subscribers and prizes include sub box and upload. GFX and VFX are having one which ends on the 29th of May. They've got 300 subscribers and prizes include subbox, background, and a promo upload. Malkov Designs is having one which ends on the 1st of June. Subscribe. He's got 200 subscribers and prizes include upload, subbox, background, and logo. I'm Im Grape. I'm Grape is having one which ends on the 1st of June. They've got, or he's got 1.1k subscribers and prizes include subbox, upload, and a free edit. And finally, Unique Jerk with a 3 is having one which ends on the 10th of June. He's got 800 subscribers and prizes include $5 sub box upload and background. So all the links are down below. That took my breath out, took, out, took the breath out of me. So all the links are below. Go check out the videos for more information. My Android design of the week is called GFX by Kirk. And I would have had him as my kind of upcoming designer. Um, but since he's so underrated with only 8 subscribers, I thought I'd have him as my underrated. Um, he's really good at Photoshop, hasn't been doing YouTube that long, um, 4 weeks, and his content is only just starting to kind of gain pace, if you know what I mean. And just want you to go, definitely go check out his channel. His really nice one is here by one called Gunman. Really cool use of abstract renders, kind of similar to the way that I use them kind of using them boldly to add to the render or the image and also another one another nice one is this one he entered into robots competition pretty cool looking design there so definitely go check them out this video is getting quite long after that huge list of contests so I'm gonna keep this short his links down below his name's GFX by Kirk so my review of the week this is probably gonna be a one-off because I don't come across that many reviews, but this, but Iceflow Studios did one a couple of weeks back of this plugin called Guide Guide. And if you're using guides a lot, or if you're not really using, haven't got into guides yet, they're really useful if you want to kind of make everything really precise. And if you're doing layouts or websites or leaflets or posters, or whatever, then they could be really useful. And this plugin really helps. It just makes it so much quicker just to get the guides in the right place. You can, as you can see here in the review they did um, you can set it for the middle for the center horizontal and vertical you can set different margins different columns different rows you can have diff like different spaces between the columns and it's just all really useful really quick and it will take forever if you drew them out um, manually so this plugin called guide guide is really useful definitely go check out the website the download link in the website and definitely go check out check out the review that Iceflow Studios did here and if you really want you can let him know that he's in GFX News and maybe he'll come take a look at this and yeah so this is a plugin called Guide Guide very useful go download it and that just about wraps it up for GFX News number 8 thank you very much for watching I'm going to keep this quick as this is probably the longest GFX News I've ever done be sure to enter my weekly challenge, the theme is Neon, check out all the latest contests and remember what I said about don't make one if you're trying to get subscribers and next week um, suspect, expect me to have less contests and only the best ones. Um, check out my underrated sign of the week, GFX by Kirk and obviously my review of the week, Guide Guide by iFlow Studios and I will see you next week for GFX News number 9.